can't stop thinking about oh i can't stop thinking about this one damn i can't stop thinking about him i love him he's mine for now hey guys welcome to another video how are you guys doing if you're new hey do not forget to smash that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber mm, thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate it it's okay see i'm blushing i'm blushing uh guys this is supposed to be a silk press that i did on thursday today is monday i did the silk press on thursday and my hair is already reverting but that shows that my hair is not damaged right i've not yet put what on anyway wait that's unnecessary information so today i'm going to be talking about the 23 books that i cannot stop thinking about in that i read this year okay i need to rephrase that today i'm going to be talking about the books i <laughs> today i'm going to be talking about the 23 books that i read in 2023 that i can't stop thinking about till now i have read about 108 books right now currently and we're still in december so i've not finished reading i'm still you know reading and my goal was 50 books for this year so i actually exceeded my goal in flying colors and i'm so excited yes these books are not in any particular order some of them might not even be five stars for me but they're just books that i keep thinking about till now do you get the first book i cannot stop thinking about is this one a little life by hanya yanahihera guys this book oh a lot of people said so many things about this book before i picked it up and when you when you read through jude's life basically it's about four friends jude malcolm jb willem and then the people around their lives and everything you see the things they've gone through you see what they are doing right now you've seen all you see all those things and then you start to wonder if this is really real and you hope that it's not real because the suffering in this book is too much it is just too much for one person to you know go through people cried when they, they say they cry and all i didn't really really cry like that i only cried at some parts but not like the way i expected to with the way everybody was describing but aside that i learned a lot as in law maths and i feel like everyone should read it yes it's a chunky book and i read it with the aid of an audio book so yeah i feel like everybody should read this book at least once in your lifetime you should read this it was a very very good read i read it with my friends a broken people's playlist by chimica gary this book is a collection of short stories and the first story in this book actually broke my heart like i was <coughs> yeah that's how i felt because i didn't see it coming it just hit me and i'm like whoa so do not be confused okay do not be afraid that the book is only a sad book of no 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 the first story is sad but the other stories in it are quite light and you know fun and then some are actually a little sad but basically that's how it is and it was actually a very very good read i can never forget that first story i cannot there's nothing in this life that will ever make me forget it and i feel like you guys should read it also i had to just carry this whole thing because i've been trying to remove the book from inside but it is not removing the folk of air series by holy black guys this talks about jude and cardon so jude is a human and she was taken to the fairy land by a stepped father so in the fairy land humans are regarded as you know lesser beings we can march on you we can kill you we can control you and fairy land has magic so jude is trying to prove her worth she's trying to you know rise above all those circumstances and all so you just get to see that jude is a crazy girl she's crazy she's i don't know where she got her will from but the girl is mad i can't stop thinking about her because when i think about her, i'm like girl girl you, <laughs> the girl is crazy so i feel like you guys should read it it's very very light it's not that deep people said if you want to go into fantasy it's a very very good place to start i think so too because this is my first take on fantasy and i really really enjoyed it the queen of nothing was one i was trying to bring out because that's when i that was the last book in the series it just wraps everything up very very well and there was a little bit of magic at the end that was like okay we didn't see that coming but yeah Folk of Esteris. Beneath the Baobab Tree by Aldao Beatricia Uwambani. Guys, this book I cannot stop thinking about. It talks about the experiences that most of these girls during the time of the Chibok girls where they were kidnapped by the Boko Haram. And this book actually puts us in the POV of one of the girls that was kidnapped and then we get to see the things she lost, the things she went through. I feel like it was very, very, very hard reading this. Another reason why I cannot stop thinking about it is because of the mention of 
some of the cultural things that happen here like the food my mom is from the north so i was seeing some things i was like oh my god i remember this food i, I had this food when i went to the north and also it also sheds another light in regards muslims because what we all think about muslims is not really the way the boko Haram's are so it was very enlightening i feel like i cannot stop thinking about i cannot stop thinking about it guys it was a very very painful read this was one of my five stars honestly highly recommend let me move to one of the books i read on my kindle guys on my kindle okay one book i cannot stop thinking about is my roommate is a vampire by jenna levina i think levine okay by jenna levine he talks about a girl and <laughs> vampire they turned out to be roommates actually the vampire slept for 100 years and he just woke up so he's not used to this era so he needs somebody that would you know teach him the whole thing and this lady you know needed a place to stay because of some things and <laughs> like that so the reason why i cannot stop thinking about this book is because it was so funny i was laughing i was happy i kept smiling i kept i was so happy reading this book it just made me excited i don't know how else to explain it but this book was really really good in my own opinion a lot of people f might think that oh it's a three star but i don't care it was my own five easiest five star book i've ever given in my life is yes that's one then another book i read on my kindle also is reminders of him by colin hoover there's nothing anyone can tell because the way colin hoover puts you in their shoes you start to wonder like what would you do if i was the one like if it was my child if it was me what would i have done do you understand so it's it's crazy well it talks about a mother that is separated from her daughter and she doesn't have custody over this child because she was in prison so now she's out of prison and she wants to try to get a child not even get that child back she just wants to have a relationship with the child because of the circumstances around her birth and all that and her father the father of the child so yeah that book i cannot stop thinking about it i know people have controversial takes on calling over i am not one of them honestly to be, to be quite honest i feel like our books are really really good that's one of the books i feel like everybody should read i cannot stop thinking about it basically odufa by otuke ominia boz <laughs> now as soon as i started reading uh, african literature this was one of the books i just read like one of the fresh books i just read and what happened in this book would just be like ah, are you kidding me like what the flip what the heck so many things were happening in this book and i'm like are you are you crazy so he talks about a guy <laughs> this guy well he was diagnosed to have impotence uh, well i thought it was another name but yeah he was diagnosed to be impotent so he met a girl and he loved the girl and sha who you know knocked the girl up and when the girl is knocked up you know now the girl starts to act in some type of way and also tribalism in this book tribalism is crazy because he's from another tribe she's from another tribe so mixing the two tribes in africa sometimes i don't know why there's even that it's more like racism in my own opinion but anyway anyway story for another day so yeah basically just see what this guy went through and what this girl did and guys it's it was unexplainable but it was a very see it was a i don't know how to explain this book stressed me the f out it stressed me i kept shouting my boyfriend was like i was like what is happening and yeah that's it atomic habits by james Clare. honestly i feel like every single person and their mamas and their papas and their uncles and aunts should read this book because it's very very good if you want to actually change your habits you know develop new habits it's a book i want to read again when i was reading it i didn't really practice everything but i feel like i'll actually go back into it to read again and practice and I, you don't need to do everything at once like you can just do it step by step little by little yeah yeah the next book is confess by colin over i i guess you guys can actually tell that i'm a colin over fan <laughs> i don't know why i really enjoyed it maybe it's the hard work inside maybe it's the fact that the storyline was very very captivating honestly look at this well it talks about alborn and owen alborn has lost everything and she wants to get it back she wants to get some part of her life back and the best way to do it is to cut owen off because owen has his family is his family basically 
because of his family and then she, because of what she needs to get back i don't want to spoil the book but seriously um i really really enjoyed reading this i felt like it was quite heartbreaking eb because i'm like damn like when you are faced with two options and you don't know which one to choose and you know what you want but at the same time would it get you what you need do you understand like that was how it was and also reading people's confessions in this book i was like wow then also the heart work in it i can't stop thinking about this book basically i feel like everyone should read this yes taduno song by odafe Athogun. guys aside the cover of this book that i'm in love with i honestly honestly can't stop thinking about this book maybe because i love music i don't know but it talks about a guy named taduno he sings and his song was like a form of strength to the people and when he sings people feel like someone is on their side they feel more motivated to fight against the, there was a whole political thing that was going on so something happened where he had to leave town run away and since he left his identity got forgotten just like that it was like magic it was just forgotten automatically like that so um when he came back the only way for them to actually even remember who he is facially was for him to play his guitar and sing and then the government wanted him to sing for them so you get to see so many things happening so many other things happen in this book actually i really really love it maybe because of the lights in which music was portrayed i don't know but it was a very very good read yes i can't stop thinking about oh i can't stop thinking about this one twisted games by hannah huang this is what this is my favorite one of my favorite actually at this point like this is my favorite but i love all the books i don't i don't hate any of them twisted love twisted hate twisted lies i don't hate any of them i love all of them but i think this one is my favorite because this talks about bridget and reese larson reese is a bodyguard and bridget is a princess you know they are four friends like that guys the reason why i can't stop thinking about this book is because of the way bridget handled the whole situation you know it's forbidden love you're not supposed to marry your your bodyguard you're not even supposed to be sniffing your bodyguard but she was doing all that and it was very spicy oh my god it was spicy and there were so many scenes in this book that i was just like oh my oh my god oh my god but it's bridget's is is the way she she handled the whole situation for me is the way she was smart even though yes reese she, she needed to you know back up from reese but then the way she was smart the way she handled the situation the way she came up with ideas i really really fell in love with that i liked it i she didn't she didn't act all hopeless i cannot do anything about it you know she she's supposed to take the throne because her brother abdicated she wasn't even supposed to even be the queen in the first place but her brother abdicated so what was she supposed to do you know she didn't back out took it and i really really love that i loved the way everything was it was so so good i cannot stop thinking about this i cannot <sighs> yes yes ugly love by colin over mm. <laughs> guys this talks about miles and tate yes there are some things in this book that didn't really sit up well with me uh like the fact that they were having you know it was just a sex only kind of relationship so no feelings he says it he said it to her in the beginning don't expect anything in the future and don't ask me about my past and as we read it we get to understand why 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 he said that in the first place what he went through in the past and it was so painful guys i cried i broke my heart i cried i was bawling my eyes out because such a thing should not happen to an human being oh, it's very painful and also the 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 place that says whoever coined the phrase i love you to death obviously never experienced the kind of love tate and i share if that were the case the phrase would be I love you to life because that's exactly what Tate did. She loved me back to life. The end. Like that line, I cannot forget it. I cannot forget it. When someone says I she loved me back to life, meaning I was there before, I can never forget that book. Another books. Another books. I can't stop thinking about these two books. It ends with us and it stops with it stops. <laughs> It ends with us and it starts with us by calling Uber. These two books, this is the book one and this is the book two. Honestly, a lot of people have different... Yes, like as usual with calling Uber, a lot of people think that uh, they say our books are bad and traumatic and all that. But seriously, what I learned from this book, I cannot unlearn. I can never unlearn and I don't even want to unlearn. I can never forget it. It talks about a girl named Lucy and a relationship with Ryle and Atlas. 
and I'm not going to say more than that, but there's something I always like always comes to my mind when I see these books. I just read them recently, Seth. We know how to judge people once we are outside. But once you are in that person's situation, you start to realize that it's not as easy as you think. And that's what one thing I learned from this. So uh, aside from that, Atlas is the man of my dreams. Okay. He, he is the man of my dreams. Like the things he did for Lucy, how he did it, and he went what he went through. Oh no. Oh no. That guy deserves he has a place in my brain. It's not gonna leave my brain. Thank thank God. Guys, what am I saying? Thank God, I don't even know. But seriously, basically, honestly, I feel like everybody should be given a chance to read this blind. Go into it blind. I went into it blind and it's one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. A thousand boy kisses by Tilly Cole. Okay, so it talks about Poppy and Rune. Yes, there are some things that don't really sit well with me. The fact that they were very, very young. Okay, they were young, they were eight years old, and they were kissing at eight years old. You're not supposed to be kissing, but then I cannot stop thinking about it because I cried my eyes out, <laughs> guys. So Rune and Puppy, mm, they were best friends, and you know, they became lovers. When Puppy's grandmother was about to die, she gave her a jar filled with love hearts like this and told her to document all her kisses, 1,000 boy kisses. And Rune was like, oh no, no one else is going to give you those kisses except me. And then some things happened where they had to separate and when they come back and when they came back, things had already changed and then you got to see why. I don't want to spoil the book, but seriously, seriously, what happened in this book broke my heart. And at the end, Seth, I'm like, what the fuck? That was how I felt. But then, it was a very, 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 very sweet book. Yeah. I was even doing Stronger. I'm not going to cry, but I cried. Yes, I cried. <laughs> Love Theoretically by Ali Azelwood. Honestly, Ali Azelwood is one of my favorite authors. And I just got Checkmate. And I want to read it. I'm so happy. Okay, back to this one. So, this one talks about the two of them. They are both in STEM. She's a Theor- theorist and he's a physicist uh, I, I don't know if i was saying it right but yes they are enemies basically they're enemies and she needs a better job she needs a better because she has some health issues and so she also does some odd jobs and that was what led her to jack in the first place now now when a guy sees you and he knows you like that is jack that is just, when he knows that okay this is not the real you you are just not act you are because she's always doing this thing where she modifies herself or her personality to fit the person she's trying to talk to so the person would like her that is how she's always modifying herself like a chameleon and he could see through that guys he could see through that I really, really loved it. There, there were other things he even said, like, let me take care of you. Like, there was one power he said, let me take care of you. I want to take care of you. Like, oh my God. Yes, let me go to my Kindle because I'm about to finish with the physical books. I have two physical books left. And let me talk about the ones on my Kindle. The Mind Fox series by STRB. You guys, you need to read that book. That book is crazy. So it talks about a serial killer and, well, and a cop or a detective. Well... Lana was dating the detective. I forgot his name or all of a sudden. I just forgot. His name. Oh God, I'm sorry. So the reason why I love this book and I cannot forget about it, girl, the way she executed a mission is what was amazing. She did it badass style. I cannot not forget. Like, and she was so trained, so crazy. The detective that she was dating is the one that is working on a case. So you can imagine how it's gonna go. And now all this their their chemistry self their chemistry was impeccable impeccable yeah guys another book i read which was on my kindle also is the housemate and the housemate secret by frida those two books guys you i cannot forget those books i learned a very very big lesson from the housemate secret but the housemate had my jaw dropping ha like this because damn so it's about this girl Millie and she's working as a housemaid in this house mostly they are always rich people and so she's in a room where the door can only lock from the outside and mama millie was just getting out of prison so she needs this job so she took it and then some things happened and you start to see that mama became a weird person 
that girl is psychotic but i cannot stop thinking about those books those two books damn the second book actually has the same storyline but there was a little bit of twist to it that i actually feel like i saw coming but then again it's a very very huge lesson to that girl <laughs> another book i read oh my god oh my god oh my god the sweetest oblivion <laughs> Mm-hmm. this one is a dark i don't know if it's a dark romance or a mafia romance i don't even know the difference yet maybe because i've not read a lot of dark romances but guys this book talks about nico now nobody can tell me nothing i love nico so mm, nico is supposed to marry adriana but his eyes is on elena and elena elena's father the mafia boss the you know the maid man cannot let he, Nico marry Elena due to some reasons and so let's see how Nico gets Elena that's the story but basically the things that Nico did like for Elena you'll be like oh my god <laughs> oh my god mama even stole two million naira uh, sorry not naira two million dollars I don't know if it's dollars I forgot the currency but she shall stole two million from him and guess what he would say it was like <laughs> I'm proud of you, or, or something like that. Isha said something like that along that line. And then there was a scene at the filling station that blew my mom like, guy, I need a guy to do this for me. That kind of vibe. Yes. I can't stop thinking about that book. Okay. I can't. Mm. All I wanted was a cup of vinyl, but I got kidnapped by an alien duke. So it's an alien and a human romance, guys. This is the third book in the Bubble Babes series. <laughs> Guys, this was my first time reading Alien and and Human Smart. Mm. It was just, it was so hot. And these aliens have something that makes the whole experience extra. Mm-mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> but seriously, guys, I can't stop thinking about this book. Maybe because of the way Raphael was, his whole personality, the way he... He, like you think that this is how it is and then you now start to see his true oh my god my camera is dying you start to see his true color damn i can't stop thinking about him i love him he's mine for now the three of us by ore Aguaje williams <sighs> this book was set in just one day everything we are reading in the old book is just one day talks about tammy now tammy is probably this naughty person look that we are seeing here then this is our best friend and our best friend's husband. Now, Tammy and this best friend. Our best friends, they've been best friends since they were in school. So, you know, they had some goals then. They were never going to get married and stuff like that. But Mama got married to Uncle and we don't even know their names. That's the funniest thing. It's only Tammy's name we know. Then we got to see how this Tammy starts to act so weird in the relationship. Like, as if Uncle married both of them. That's how I felt. So you, you as you're reading uh, you, the reason I cannot forget it is because it makes me realize that in life uh, your friends can make or break you. That is it. That is just it. Because then again, the way the book ended was just weird because I we still don't even know what really really happened. Like you are left to guess what is what happened. But then there's a very huge lesson in the book. And it's a very different book from most of the Nigerian books that I've been reading because most Nigerian books have this thing where, you know, you suffer, you travel abroad. No, no, this one was just in that day. It was a different kind of book. I cannot stop thinking about it. And guys, we've come to the last book I cannot stop thinking about. It's Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Oh my God, this is one of my favorite books ever, ever, guys. This book... I don't know. So, Karisoto is a tennis player and she was retired, but Nikki Chan is about to break her record. So, Karisoto decided that no, I'm going to come back and I'm going to break down my record and break another record and other records because, you know, as a retiree, I don't know if that exists. She is old and uh, cannot be able to move like she used to when she was younger and stuff. And it's just a determination for me. But but the reason why I cannot stop thinking about this book is because of her relationship with her father. Her father trained her and he trained her again. And then you get to see so many things and then it broke my heart at a point And I'm like, oh my God. Oh my god yeah it was very very good it is very very good i i honestly say everyone should read this book honestly 
yeah this is one of my favorite books ever in this life in this whole world so with that we've come to the end of 2023 books no no 20 the 23 books that i read in 2023 that i really really can't stop thinking about um i would like you guys to tell me which ones you uh agree with me on and also tell me the ones you don't agree with me on okay i want to know i want to know so i'll see you guys in my next video i think i'm going to be doing a 24 book that i want to read in 2024 <laughs> something like that i don't know <laughs> we shall see and thank you so much do not forget to hit that subscribe button deuces but uh father is a oh my god how am i going to explain this thing i hate explaining fantasy looks like i don't have space on my memory card anymore jesus christ and that book i can't stop talk, thinking about <sighs> my camera is over eating. yes my camera is over eating again we need a little break again again oh 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 my god i forgot her name is her name elsie elsie and jack the guy did not know that she's a like she they are ugh, i don't know how to explain this book okay guys the, the angles just keep changing because the camera keeps overeating but anyway i just realized that the fan was home sorry Go, let me do my video. <laughs> in peace. Okay, in peace. You have to rest in peace. No, yes, no. Okay, rest in trouble there. I'm not resting in anything, I'm resting. <laughs>